So this is a video I kind of can't believe I haven't done in a very long time. This is my top five all-time favourite novels. Now I did a video like this probably about seven years ago, maybe six years ago, and if I can find that video I will link it in the description if you wish to see how my tastes have changed. All I can say is they have changed. I think I've become a lot more of a, a literature snob, which is maybe not a good thing, but I can't help it. And I have five novels that I think are absolutely perfect. So these are in no order and I'm going to put the only contemporary fiction novel in here first and it's not actually a novel, it's a series because I can't pick my favourite one out of the series and I've talked about this series to no end. This is Stuart McBride's Logan McRae series, it started with Cold Granite, his most recent one is Now We Are Dead and I love them and Roberta Steele, a frequently recurring character, protagonist in some of them, I love her. I love her so much. She is my spirit animal in many ways and these books, without a doubt, are my go-to if I just need to pick me up. I love them. I love Stuart McBride for creating these, my fellow Aberdonian. Absolute perfection. I should also mention before I proceed, somebody may well point out to me that I say Virginia Woolf is my favourite writer, my favourite female writer. She is. But there are none of her novels in here and that's because I think she has a very... Uh, interesting writing style but not one that I find overly engaging. I prefer her letters, her journals, her diary entries. Her novels are fine, obviously Orlando is amazing but just not quite worthy of being in my top five. Okay so now we have Daphne du Maurier and I love her and she used to live just up the road from me. I love walking past her houses and I'm putting Rebecca in here. Rebecca blew me away. I still cannot get over that. But I have to say my cousin Rachel also came very close to being in this list as is The Parasites. I read The Parasites was the first ever of Demoria's novels that I've read. I've read 90% of her novels now. I'm rationing myself to one a year. I have a couple left, uh, Marianne and a couple more. And I am rationing them to one a year. Whenever I finish the first draft of one of my own novels, I treat myself with a Demoria. But Rebecca, amazing. The Parasites is a novel after my own heart and my cousin Rachel was incredible. Then we come to one that I reviewed a couple of years ago on my channel and it is amazing. This is The Well of Loneliness by Radcliffe Hall. Radcliffe Hall was born Marguerite Radcliffe Hall. She often went by the name John. She was uh, at the time considered a cross-dresser, you know, she wore trousers and things, had her hair very short and uh, was a lesbian. So obviously a very controversial writer and she wrote The Well of Loneliness uh, at the beginning of the 20th century and it was banned. It was banned from UK publication. It was still published in America but there was a big court case and great women like Virginia Woolf and Vera Sackville West campaigned for it to not be banned but it was banned and it is not raunchy. It's quite romantic actually. It's um, very much a building throwman of this young girl's journey from being a very misunderstood child to being this adult exploring female uh, same-sex relationships and it's just incredibly written. You really get sucked into it. Uh, it's quite biographical, uh, quite autobiographical rather and I can't recommend it enough. It is now not banned. You can get hold of it. I thoroughly recommend that you do. It definitely deserves a place in this top five. Penultimately we have one that I read and fell in love with and this is Bride's Head Revisited by Evelyn Waugh, or Evelyn Waugh, and I watched the film first, the Emma Thompson film. Obviously I'm madly in love with Emma Thompson so of course I was going to like it, but the book for me is about a billion times better. It's very... <sighs> Oxbridge. It's, it's very snobbish and it's full of homosexual love and awesomeness and it's so fantastically written and the language is amazing. The, the, the range of vocabulary in this novel is incredible. I have read other of Waugh's novels, none of them compare to Bride's Head Revisited. And lastly we have one that is not necessary, well first of all it's not actually a novel. It was written uh, it is weekly or monthly serials and then published at one point together. This is The String of Pearls, more recently known as Sweeney Todd. And Sweeney Todd is my all-time favourite musical, it's my all-time favourite film, it is my life. I love Sweeney Todd more than anything. And I studied the 
novel or these serials when I was at university and wrote an essay about it, had great fun doing that. It's interesting to read because it's very different to the stage play, it's very different to Burton's film. Uh, although there are elements, of course, that reflect in both the musical and the film. And I love it. I think had I not fallen in love with the 2007 film, was I, were I not obsessed with the musical, uh, which I saw Emma Thompson in, just to link back to, to Brideshead, uh, I probably wouldn't like it that much. You know, it's not fantastically written, it's nowadays it's not particularly scary, but being a Sweeney Todd fan, addict, uh, worshipper, I think it's one of the best things ever written. So those are, without question, my current top five all-time favourite novels. If in the future this list radically changes, I will do an update, but that is not entirely likely. Rebecca's been on my top five. All of these entered my top five as soon as I read them, which means that Cold Granite has been on it since 2011, Rebecca maybe 2012, The Well of Loneliness I only read in 2016, uh, Brideshead, Revis 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 Brideshead Revisited I only read in 2017 and Sweeney Todd I read in 2012 I think so it, it's a fairly recently compiled list but these books define me and I love them obviously I am desperate to know which books you love most and which ones you would most recommend uh, specifically novels but not necessarily fiction uh, let me know and I'll speak to you all soon